Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing a tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So as you can see, I've already shuffled the cards. We can begin. Now, the first card that I'm looking at is giving me the impression that many of you are at a point in which you're either sitting on your throne, you're evaluating, you're thinking about something. It feels as if you're sitting in your power, right? So this is a powerful card. It's all about being the type of individual that is passionate, driven, motivated, and you know what you want. And this is a lot of energy that is centered in you, you know, identifying and seeing things that you didn't see before. So with this particular energy, I get the impression that many of you could be feeling very powerful right now, very strong, very confident. You could be thinking about taking charge, right? So I feel like in terms of your energy, you could be motivated to do a lot more than you usually do, especially when it comes to your love life. The next card that I'm looking at is showing to me that there might have been an element of stagnation. There might have been an element of where, you know, you and this individual hit the stalemate. It feels as if nothing was moving forward. There is this energy of where, you know, perhaps you were not able to do anything and this individual was not able to do anything. So I feel like both you and this person might have been a little bit conflicted, a little bit in denial about what was happening. And I'm sensing from the energy of the person you're dealing with, there is movement here, but what type of movement does it represent? Because with this particular card, I get the impression here that this is a responsive energy. Let's see what it is about. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. Okay, this is all about communication, okay? I'm getting the impression that, you know, perhaps the two of you were having a discussion with each other and before, you know, nothing was moving along. So this is an opportunity for communication. You could be the one that takes that uh, initiative, you know, you take action, you take steps going forward, you know, because things were really moving very slow at one point in time. You know, you couldn't make a move before. And I feel like this energy from this individual is responsive, meaning that, you know, they may reply to you in a positive light. So I feel like if you're having that inclination to do something right now, there's definitely an indication of, uh, you know, a reaction from this individual and it's a viable reaction. Now, I feel like there's a lot of stress here. The individual you are dealing with could be feeling very stressed out about how communication is going right now, might not really feel that, uh, you know, um, at ease with the, the nature of the situation. Yeah. It might be a desire to get something out in the open. I feel like the intention is there, but whether or not it really happens, that's another issue, you know. Yeah, I do get the impression that someone was feeling as if they didn't know what to do with regard to this connection. Let's clarify the next energy.
Um, I'm seeing a heartbreak, okay? This could be as a result of something that happened in the situation, right? It feels as if there was a pain or a painful situation, an event or something that occurred. It caused a lot of sadness and the two of you were feeling very stuck. So this is a very interesting energy because in combination, it's showing that the two of you have really been through a lot. It feels like there's an inability to truly, you know, find your way out of this mess that was created. I feel like both you and this individual were for a long time feeling very helpless during the course of the relationship. There were a lot of things that were, you know, causing stagnation causing the two of you to not have an ability to come back together. So what I'm sensing from this situation is you're looking to take an initiative and this individual may be responsive towards it. But there was heartbreak and pain here, okay? So for some time, there was no new beginnings. Yeah, I get the impression here that, you know, things were happening in a way in which it was causing restrictions, it was causing limitations, it wasn't allowing for either you or this individual to come together. So it was very restrictive in terms of the energy at hand. It wasn't allowing for movement. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you taking a stand, moving forward, deciding to pursue a certain avenue of happiness with this individual is something that, you know, it didn't occur overnight. It feels as if you were going back and forth, you were trying to establish, is this something that is feasible in terms of the connection? Should you reach out? Should you take those steps going forward? And I feel like you kept going back and forth over whether or not you should offer this individual love and happiness. But you feel like you're being led to do so right now. The problem is something may have happened in the past. You see, the energy is that the two of you fell in love and had this amazing connection. But it seems as if, you know, during the course of the connection, things got a little bit strained. Someone is a little bit defensive, a little bit closed off, you know, could be potentially critical towards what the other individual has to say. So there is that fear of getting, you know, snapped at if you decide to reach out. The next energy is talking about the conflict, the dispute. Something caused an upheaval in the situation and that is the reason why there was silence. I feel like, you know, it may have led to the breakup or perhaps there were things said in haste and it caused a level of unease, right? So let's see. For those of you that are unaware, there is an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. I see from this person that you're dealing with, right? There was a very erratic sort of display of either emotion or passion or things that happened. It really left this individual feeling knocked down. It feels as if they were trying to run away from this. They were trying to run away from what was occurring between the two of you. But the more they tried to get away from it, the more they felt trapped and they felt stuck. You see, I feel like they were trying to give you the impression that they were much stronger on the you know outside than it appeared but i also feel like this individual kept quiet about a lot of things that they didn't really want you to know so it feels like this energy of where they didn't know how to make something right so that implies that someone may have done something wrong
I feel like someone is being silent here and they're not saying everything that they should be saying. It feels like an energy that is difficult to tackle. It's like, you know, if you were to communicate with them, they'll be responsive to it. But there's certain things they won't say to you. There's certain things that they would keep buried inside of them, okay? So I feel like there's this well of emotion that they won't display to you. And you may feel as if, you know, you're not able to get them to be as they used to be. But there's something that is illustrating a level of discomfort that this individual is going through during this period. And they don't feel, you know, vulnerable enough or welcoming of that sort of energy right now because something is being kept below the surface. So what I get from this individual right now is that if you were to talk to them, yes, they'll talk to you, but there's a lot of things they wouldn't say to you. There's a lot of things they wouldn't open up about. And there's a lot of indecision here, a high level of stress. Yeah, you see, they're not going to fully communicate what they want to say to you. So I feel like this could be like a blockage or something of that nature, something hidden from view, right? And not knowing whether or they should or should not. But yeah, I do feel like in the long term, this is not going to be very beneficial because it feels as if there's something missing and it may lead to, you know, the two of you parting ways at a later stage, right? This could create more conflict for the two of you. There's something they're not opening up about. And I do see that, uh, you know, this could create some sort of a upheaval and this will cause this individual to go further into their own world, right? So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at, you know, if you were to reach out to this individual, what are the things that they would not be saying to you? You know, what are the things they should be saying to you in order to avoid confrontation and conflict later down the line? It feels as if, you know, this individual is hiding things and it's as if they don't feel comfortable to be vulnerable with you in those elements. There's something that's, you know, holding them back from opening up or being, you know, how they used to be with you at one point in time. So I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. You can find the link for the extended in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.